Pan. Water. Eating me a frog. Now I'm dead. Yo, thank you for the follow, Skittle. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate that. Welcome to my stream, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Let's rock this. I think that'll be solid. We might lose, though, because we have no form of survivability at all. Whoops. Yeah, we have no form of survivability at all. Oh, wow, we actually won. We had an eight critical there at the end. Kind of crazy. Let's buy this and let's get some form of survivability. And then we'll also just buy that. Oh, crap. You didn't turn into a torch like you were supposed to. Whoops. I guess it was hooked onto the uh, the whetstone. I just did not want to turn into a torch. Versus double sword whetstone. We lost. Double sword whetstone is just a crazy combination. Good game, though. I will take that L with pride. Now we have this. What do we buy here? Let's go garlic and banana and fanny pack. Roll. Ooh. Mana orb. Yes. Lump of coal. I'll take it. I think that is good. Um, we'll just put everything over here and then the food and all go here. I think that's great. I haven't seen cards in a while. A little bit surprised. Pretty cool, though. Versus just a sword. Um, do we win this? Just from pure regeneration? Even though the cards did a... I think the cards did a lot of damage to us at the beginning, but... Oh, wow. A blood harvester. Pretty cool, but we don't have uh, vampirism, so... <laughs> We're not doing anything with vampirism. I'm going to buy this and that. Roll. There goes the blueberry we want. The last stone we have to buy, and I think that's solid. Let's also get space. I think space will be good. Might be a little bit hard to beat this guy. I mean, I mean, our stones did put in work getting rid of his block, but he's also got a health potion. Which he just used, and we're still winning? Question mark? Wow. I'm a little bit stronger than I thought I was. I'll take it, though. Yin, I'll buy that, too. Buy space for next round. This can go here. Um, Yeah, that's good. Oops. There we go. That was good. Okay. I like what I'm looking at. Now I just need to get me a health potion. If I can get me a health potion, I'll be happy. This one's a little bit, a lot more evil. Well, we got destroyed. I blame it on the wooden buckler. <laughs> Purely blame it on the wooden. Oh, there's the health potion. And let's get some space. Let's roll for nothing. Blueberry? E e yeah, we need blueberry. Let's get that too and that. So let's turn this blueberry. I mean, yeah, let's turn this. Well, I guess we are turning the blueberry <laughs> into a mana potion. Same difference, right? All right, that'll work. Um, here's sword torch with a Kuberts. We're gonna be taking a lot of L's here. I feel we're gonna have to kind of get kind of lucky in order to start taking some W's, unless we can find a stone skin potion. That'll help us out with our survivability. We did get kind of close there. Thirteen damage. Ooh. Bye bye. Hello. Mana Thirst, um, and Mana Torch, and Blueberry Me, That Me, That Me, Tom oh, yes, sir. I'm liking what I'm getting. I'm liking it a lot, actually. A lot, a lot. A lot, 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 a lot. Um, what does this do again? On a weapon, on hit, 7% chance to deal plus one damage. That's actually not that much. I'm just going to put you in the space here. Call that a day. I'll be right back. All right. Boom. Shovel with the dagger. A little bit of poison as well. We might actually beat this guy. 
That's what it looks like to me. Unless something crazy happens, but it doesn't look like it. Thank God for bananas healing us. And garlics. Boom! Now we got the mana thirst and we got the magic torch. We can go ahead and do a little bit something like that. Let's go ahead and get the piercing arrow as well with that guy. And we gotta rearrange this just a little bit, not too much. Not too, too much. I want you down there. I want you right here. Like so, that can just go there for now. Um, You can go there. We need to get ourselves a ring for the critting because critting is good. I need you there for your mana generation. And honestly, I can just... Wait, how did I have you? Like this. There we go. Um, then I want to turn this into burning coal. Eventually. So that'll work. The rocks can just go over here. I do need activations over there, actually. Um, actually, we'll just put a garlic over there. Just... Or not. <laughs> well, I need the activation for the mana thing anyways. Well, actually, no, I don't, because the mana thirst actually generates mana for me. So that activation doesn't really matter as much. That's okay, though. We'll keep it like it is right now. I think that's good. Capra Resilience on sale. Let's... I did not mean the... Whatever. I don't think I should have sold that, but it's okay. Oh, there goes the ring. We can also get this protective first. Let's see how this does. This is my first time actually looking at this and watching it, I guess. That didn't sound right, but it's okay. Mana Thirst pop. Get that mana. And then the Mana Torch goes off. Mana Torch. They just feed each other, basically. That's pretty much the build just feeds each other. Um, but I think we need a little bit more survivability or maybe a little bit more crit in order to actually start killing people with this build. Unless we just win here? surprisingly one more hit and he's dead wow okay i guess we just win no complaints here um let's get this for the crit for sure that for space should we get potion belt for space yeah let's get potion belt for space it's only five and that's all we have left we can move this up by one. Oh, we didn't no we didn't we didn't really have to move that it still affects both the weapons and that's that's pretty much all that matters I'm going to put you on the outside, actually. Because I want to get that gain two heat. That's what I really want. Just the heat. That's the only thing I care about. The faster, the better. Especially since we have low stamina. These things can affect as fast as possible. We got double bananas. So stamina should never, ever, ever be an issue with us. Um, Hell of Regeneration versus a Ripshaw Blade. Luckily, we're not relying on regeneration or spikes for this build. It's just purely mana. And... Yeah, so we should be able to beat this guy. The only thing I see that could be a problem is the piercing, but boom! Huge crits right there. Huge crits. Huge, huge crits. Big W. Huge W. Oh, there we go. There's a strong skin potion that we want. Um, we, We're definitely going to need that. We need more. Oh, wow. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. And we got another lump of coal. Let's sell this for that um um ooh. yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and move that over boom boom i'm gonna move a lot of this over actually or not not really move it over just move it in different areas because i need both of those to be those upgraded potions and then I could just move that back. Um, and then this can just go there for now. And then I can just move this entire situation over here for the banana. And then the cap of resilience can go there. Give me a little bit more space. Get the lump of coal for the, the heat going a little bit faster. I should have probably moved this outside of... Well, I could sell the wet zone. Sell the wet zone, move that outside would have probably been better. In my opinion. Um, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I should, I, I should have played that in slow-mo. I should have played that in slow-mo. 
That would have been nice. <laughs> Let's buy this, that, that. And then another acorn collar. There goes the DJ lamp. This is what we've been waiting for. The DJ lamp is what we've been waiting for. Honestly. But I'm about to acorn collar for more crit. Um, which I can put here. I'm so glad that the mana thirst generates the mana that we need. So glad. So very glad. Because I could literally put this anywhere and not feel bad about where I'm putting it. That's the upside. And... Only thing that needs to go faster is the weapons. But I can't really move this. This has to be here. Because it has to activate the piercing arrow. Um, and it also has to activate the mana thirst. Unless I move the ranger bag over by one. That would actually work. <laughs> Moving the ranger bag over by one and then just replacing it here. That way it could be 10% faster, but I'm not tripping too hard over it. Honestly, I think I'd rather have those inside of there. So those can be 10% faster. Because then those make everything else faster. Each time this procs, everything is 4% faster. So that's 4, 8, that's 12% faster after 5 seconds. Or, you know, when I gets faster, you know, after that many seconds. And then we're just going to get more uh, of the coals, so... I think that's a little bit better. Do we need another mana orb? If I do get another mana orb, what I can do is get me a mana dagger or a spectre dagger, which can help out with DPS, even though, you know, it's not that much DPS helping out with, but it's still something. Or I can get me another mana thirst. Put it on the other side of there. Since we realistically don't need that mana orb, also means we kind of just don't need that one. We don't really need the mana orbs. This generates mana for us. Mana thirst generates mana for us. And we also got a blueberry and then a mana potion. Because the mana potion is going to proc us at the beginning of the game right there. Um, and if we were to have the degen lamp, the only thing we would need is more spikes and luck. But this would, the piercing arrow would generate that luck for us. So we need a little bit more activations on the piercing arrow on the other side or something like that. But now everything is, what, 12% faster? And we're still good on stamina, it seems. Pretty nice W. And we just got the Book of Life, too. Let's go ahead and get this. Um, where are we pointing it, though? Probably on a Mana Thirst. It really doesn't even matter which one we point it at. Like, we can really point it at the Magic Torch and still be good. Let's do that. Yeah, we still be good. And then this can just go over here. Now we just need space. And then we also need the Book of Light. We're getting 14 next round. We're going to need 16, unfortunately. Well, we can sell the Whetstone. And that can give us that extra, um, the extra money we need. Okay, pretty much exactly what I have. Except he's using a Ripshaw Blade. So he's got three forms of DPS. We only have two. Huh. He's got no rings. So there's that. He's got no rings. We're going to crit sooner than he's going to crit. Which is really, really good. Which is probably the reason why um, we're winning, right? Oh, crap. We just took hella damage. Woo! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, Let's get that. Sell you. We can use this for the extra activations from our clovers. Now we just need more potions. The game, it's its like, it's stalking me. Okay, the game is stalking me right now. It's literally listening to everything I say. And it's just like, oh, he said he needs more potions. Here's more motherfucking potions. I'll take it, game. I'll take it. Thank you. Early Book of Light activation. Interesting. Not something I would do personally, but I can understand your position. <laughs> so sure. There goes ours. Uh, what do you have? Excalibur, Mana Thirst with the Goobert. Interesting. We should be able to just win, honestly. Man, we might even be able to proc the Jin. Nah, the game's going uh, to the game's going to end too early. <laughs> A little bit too early. If we get like another Jin, possibly, or even just getting this guy. 
makes it a possibly as well. Should I get a second mana? Uh, nah, I don't need it. Oh, there is the health potion. That'll help us get clovers, which is good. Um, I'm just gonna put it there. And then we can honestly just buy this for that, which is good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, whoa, we might actually lose this. Oh, cross blades and a Fortuna's Grace. Scary stuff. Very scary. Even with all that armor we got at the beginning of the game, we're still tied and we got hella armor at the beginning right there. Scary stuff. Oh, there goes the Book of Light proccing. And we win. <laughs> we actually win versus Cross Blades and a Fortuna's Grace with triple acorn collars. 100% chance to crit on all of them. We actually managed to win. And we still haven't procced our magic, our gin let yet. Yet. Keyword yet. We haven't procced it yet. We're going to proc it. I can feel it about the proc. I can feel the proctation commencing soon with this combination. So activate, 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 activate. Okay, that's the plan. Um, unless I move this. And do like this. So proc, proc. This is going to proc twice, and then that's going to proc once. I'm trying to get as much pierce as possible. That's the plan. So there's going to be two, four, six pierce. And then the armor as well. We're going to have enough mana for sure. We're gaining the clovers, two clovers from this. And then we're gaining clovers from that. And then I'm going to just buy this clover. <laughs> just since it's there. Um, uh, I don't, I don't think I should buy it. Oh, we got another one. We got another gin. We should get this other gin. Yeah, should definitely get this other gin. We can even put it over here. So now we got double gin. It's got a proc. There's no way it doesn't proc. Huh. Literally no way it doesn't proc versus Pandanomium build. What a gin? No, um, no armor generation. Oh no, he gains the armor. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Does he proc? He does. 100% chance, seven, seven, seven. Coming up, get rid of that man's shield. Okay, he doesn't proc, let's go. Well, no, he does, it proc. 32, 34, we got hella blocked though. Yeah, there we go. It procced. It procced. And jeez, we destroyed him. <laughs> we destroyed him. We destroyed him, bro. I didn't even see it proc. I was too busy looking at his screen. But jeez, we destroyed this man. Absolutely just ah <laughs> oh my gosh we still had 200 health left with 135 block bro oh my gosh this build might be better than the than the other one i had honestly um i'm just gonna try to put the burning coals as much inside the fanny packs if i could get me a bird that would be good if i can get me a bird that'd be good should i get another acorn probably not um another book of light could be nice but i kind of want a bird i'm gonna try pulling for a, oh wait there we go and do i don't even need all this food realistically i mean for the stamina maybe i mean we're at 1.1 that's not a lot of stamina that's being used at all like we really don't need it Maybe one banana. I'm selling all this though. We don't need we don't we don't need all this food. Yeah, we we, we don't need all this food. Um 
So now I just got to figure out where I want to put the bird. I can move all of this downwards like this. Make as much space as possible. The bird can go here. Oh, no, I want the gins in there. Gins got to be in there. All right, that's a perfect spot. Um, and then we just need to have all of the burning coals inside of a inside of something like that. That's good. It's good stuff. It's real good stuff. That's a good spot. Oh, we got one more coal left. Um, well, this one doesn't need the point anywhere, so it can go there. Yeah, that's great. That's great. We can sell with you and let's roll for another fanny pack to use on something that I don't know what to use it on, but I'll buy it anyways. Oh, I don't have no money. Okay. <laughs> um, this is great. I like this. Picasso, we could just use it on the, the book of life, I guess. Make it 10% faster. And then when we get another one, we'll make that one 10% faster. That works. All right. Should we get another gin? Let's get it. Let's get a third gin for the sake of having three gins versus hand and Nobium, poison build. It's also got a gin, but it's not pointed towards anything, which is good. And a ripshaw blade. 180 instead of proccing my book of life. Not a fan of that. I would definitely like a second book of life. It's OK, though. It's cool. Just look at the damage. 23 critical, 18, 25. 20, 25. It's just going to keep going up. 23, 24, 29, 26. Did we proc? I don't think we proc that right there. Oh, no, we didn't because Ripshaw Blade. Yeah. Ripshaw Blade, but it's not proc. And everything was going 20% faster. But yeah, Ripshaw Blade equals no proc, <laughs> sadly. Still was able to beat it, though. Wow, another gen. I mean, like. Why not? You know what I mean? Like, you know? You guys know, right? You know, you know. I'm gonna put it there because that's two seconds and this is 2.5. So I think that'll just be better. Another one of you. Another one of you can go there. We're going to have four gins. Oh, now hold up. Backstory on this build. Very hard to beat. This build is very, very difficult to beat, bro. Very difficult to beat. You got Blood Goober, Vampiric Gloves, Double Vampiric Gloves on a Bloodthorn. <clears throat> very, very hard to beat. Um, he's also got Poison Ivy. So he's going to be doing Poison when he turns the regeneration that he gains from these three regenerations. So we're going to have Poison on us. He's going to have Vampirism for healing and he's going to be doing hella damage with his Bloodthorn. A very difficult build to beat. Let's see if we can take him out with our build. And we insta proc Holy sh shit. We insta proc bro. There's no way we lose. 60 damage. We're both doing 60 damage. Holy crap. Oh, and we proc. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We beat the build. We beat the build, bro. This is like the build. When you see this build right here, you know you lose. But nah, now when you see this build, you know you lose. You just know. You just know, bro. Holy, I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised. <laughs> Freaking fire fist, bro. Bro, I'm so surprised we beat this build. I'm taking this. I, I had to take a screenshot of that one. I had to. I was not expecting to beat this build, bro. I'm so happy we beat this build. Every time I go against this build, I lose. Every single time. It's just a blood thorn plus vampire gloves is so good. Because you get 18 vampirism. This thing is doing 35 to 39 damage, bro. And then you got the critical because he's got the clovers plus double. Like, it's I, bro. <laughs> I'm so surprised I beat it. That's crazy. Oh, should we go? Tr Ooh, we could go another book of life since our book of life kind of. No, our book of life didn't proc early. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. In that previous battle, our book of life proc early. 
No, in our previous battle, our Book of Life didn't proc early, and that's why we won. Because it procced, and we could do more damage to him because he couldn't do damage to us. But in the battle before that, our Book of Life insta procced. It makes me feel like when the mana potions proc, the Book of Life eats the mana. It's either the Book of Life is going to eat the mana, or the Jinn is going to eat the mana. And I'd rather it be the Jinn, honestly. So... I don't know which one to get. <laughs> I really don't. I've got no idea which one to get. I think I'm gonna get the Jinn. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Jin. I'm gonna get the Jin. I'm gonna get it. We'll point this one towards the Mana Thirst. I don't think it matters which one of these procs, TBH. And we got four gold left, so let's go shopping. Um, Heroic Potion? Question mark? Should we get it? I don't really think it matters. Put a 5% decrease in accuracy on them, though. Or we can get a Blueberry for the sake of having Blueberries. One Blueberries. This is where it all started. One blueberry. Last battle. Oh, oh, we lost against this guy too. Or this build, the the fancying, uh, fencing rapier build. Very dangerous, very, very dangerous. Let's see how it goes. We did an instant proc, which is extremely unfortunate. Uh, Wait, yes, we did. We did instant proc, extremely amazing. There goes our, and we're low on stamina. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Cray. 57 damage on us. 72 on him, though. And his, all his health potions are used already. He's not critting. We are. 72 damage. We win. We win. The build is too it's just too strong. The build is just too strong. I think we double procced. No, we didn't have uh, the resistance. We, we would have double procced if we had, like, a flute or something. That would have been crazy. Because we had everything we needed to double proc. This has to be the strongest build in the game. Because this is another really strong build when you have Fencing Rapier doing 70 freaking damage on you, right? But, like, we won. So, like, what's the strongest build now? You feel me? Like, you know, like, this has got to be it. I got to take a screenshot of this one, too. I have to. I, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I got I to gotta send it in the Discord, bro. I got... I'm going to just... I'm going to just... I'm going to just keep this here for... for for my amusement, you know what I mean? I'll just keep it there. And then take a screenshot of this one, just so I know, you know, like, we beat the best builds in the game with this build, you feel me? You know what I mean? Boom. Just for memories. For the sake of memories. Hell yeah. All right, that was great. I'm happy with that one. I'm happy with that one. This has got it, this is definitely stronger than, um, Cause I previously did this with, um, I forgot the name of it. Falcon blade. Instead of using mana thirst, I did this with Falcon blade. Right. And Falcon blade was good, but I think this one is better for some reason. Only reason I say that is because your mana thirst is your mana generation. So you don't need a mana orb. You don't need blueberries with a bunch of food. All you need is a mana thirst. So you save room, you save space, right? And you can use that space for a shit ton of gins or a few birdies or even potions like this. And it's just better versus having the Falcon Blade. You're going to need to have like a mana orb, you know what I mean? Or having a blueberry with a bunch of foods on it. You know, but even then, this build still used up a lot of stamina, even though this is like low stamina uses. We're, we're at a 1.6, mainly because of all of the burning coals, because we're at 24% faster so everything is 24 percent faster which means these are uh, these proc faster which means it uses up more stamina faster um and we need to have something to combat that which we only had one banana <laughs> so that's a thing but we still ended up winning imagine if all of our weapons attack when they were supposed to it'd been way crazier we would just need like a lot more bananas or just some um stamina potions or something like that but yeah that was a good game that was a very good game